Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, pentagon uh, A, B, C, D, E. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A, E is 3 units. The side length uh, B, C is 5 units. And finally, this side uh, C, D is uh, 7 units. And moreover, uh, this angle B, C, D is uh, 120 degrees. Whereas uh, this uh, angle uh, C, D, E is 120 degrees as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the perimeter of this uh, pentagon. In other words, uh, the sum of uh, all these uh, five uh, sides uh, of this uh, pentagon. If we add them, we are going to get uh, the perimeter. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, pentagon A, B, C, D, E. And since we are interested in calculating the perimeter of this uh, pentagon, and we know the perimeter is the sum of all these uh, five uh, sides uh, of this uh, pentagon. And here we can see this side is uh, three units. This side is uh, 5 units and this side is uh, 7 units. However, this side uh, A, B is uh, unknown and likewise uh, this side uh, D, E is unknown as well. So therefore, now we are going to calculate uh, this side uh, A, B length uh, and this side uh, D, E length before we could calculate the perimeter. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle is 120 degrees and likewise this angle is 120 degrees. So therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have created uh, this uh, right triangle uh, PBT such that uh, this pentagon uh, ABCDE is uh, fully confined uh, inside this uh, right triangle and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole angle is uh, 180 degrees it's a straight angle and this angle is uh, 120 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining uh, angle has got to be 60 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is uh, 120 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CDP. We know this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees as well. And we know the sum of uh, interior angles in a triangle is uh, 180 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle CDP is an equilateral triangle since all of uh, its interior angles are 60 degrees each and since uh, this is an equilateral triangle so therefore its uh, all side lengths are going to be congruent if this side length uh, is 7 this side length is going to be 7 and likewise this side length is going to be 7 as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, big right triangle PBT we know this angle is uh, 60 degrees this angle is a uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be a 30 degree angle. So therefore we could see that this uh, triangle PBT is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees. And now let's make an observation. This side of this uh, triangle is going to be 5 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 12 units. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review and let's focus on this uh, triangle PBT. And we can see this is our uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this uh, angle 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this angle is a 90 degrees angle. And that is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg. 
whereas the side uh, opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest leg and that is also called the hypotenuse. So therefore in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is 1, then the longest leg has got to be 2 and this third leg is going to be the square root of 3. And in general, this uh, smallest leg, uh, if I label this one as the lowercase a, then this longest leg has got to be 2 times uh, a and this third leg is going to be a times uh, the square root of 3. And now let's revert our attention back to our this problem. We know this side is our uh, smallest leg, whereas this is our uh, longest leg. And our smallest leg is uh, 12. So therefore, longest leg has got to be twice of that one is going to be 24. And this uh, third leg uh, is going to be 12 times the square root of uh, 3. And now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EAT. We know this angle is a 90 degrees angle, this angle is a 30 degrees angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our 60 degree angle. So therefore, we could see that this uh, turns out to be a special 30, 60, 90 triangle as well. And we know this side uh, is our uh, smallest uh, leg, which is 3. And this hypotenuse is going to be our longest leg. So this is going to be twice of the smallest leg is going to be 6 units. And this uh, third leg uh, has got to be 3 times uh, the square root of 3. So thus uh, this uh, TE length uh, turns out to be 6. And this uh, TA length is 3 times square root of 3. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, PT length uh, is uh, 24. And this uh, tiny segment length uh, is 6, uh, whereas uh, this segment length uh, is uh, 7. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, D length has got to be 24 minus 6 uh, minus 7. If we subtract that one, that is going to give us uh, 11. So thus, uh, this uh, D segment length uh, turns out to be 11 units. And furthermore, this uh, whole uh, BT length uh, is uh, 12 times square root of 3, whereas this tiny length uh, is 3 times square root of 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, AB side length is going to be this length uh, minus this one. So that's going to give us 12 times square root of 3 minus 3 times uh, square root of 3. That is going to give us uh, 9 times square root of 3. So thus, uh, this side uh, AB length turns out to be 9 times uh, square root of 3. So thus we figured out uh, all the side lengths uh, of this uh, pentagon. And now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this pentagon. So thus we are going to add up these uh, 5 side lengths. So I'm going to add 5, 7, 11, 3 first. So I'm going to write down 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 3 and then plus finally 9 times uh, the square root of 3 and if we add that one is going to give us uh, 26 uh, plus uh, 9 times square root of uh, 3 units the perimeter so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the perimeter of this pentagon turns out to be 26 plus 9 times square root of 3 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 41.59 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye